Hi there, welcome to One Way TV this week. Thanks for joining us. We hope that you've had a great week and we hope that you've been telling your friends about One Way TV. So remind them and yourselves of the website, onewaytv.org, 7 p.m. on Friday and 9 a.m. on Sunday. And hopefully you're getting something out of it. And as always, give us some feedback if you would like. Um, visit our website and contact us in the top right corner, onewaytv.org, and we'll get back to you. Have a good time and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello and welcome to 2024. I had to think about that for a moment. I'd like to start off with a, a question, but before I do that, thank you, Julie, for the opportunity to share yet again on One Way Gatherings. It's been a while since I've been here, but uh, it's always a privilege and uh, I enjoy it. And I think Julie does a terrific job. So bless you, Julie. Got a question to start off with. And um, how have you evolved as you have grown older how have you changed as you've grown older some say well i've got wider skinnier grayer uh, it happens apparently age does that what would your younger self recognize who you are now so look back over your life and you go okay i look at that person uh, do i recognize them the way they talk the way they look etc um, would i recognize them so what I want you to do is basically just uh, close your eyes and surrender all your attachments to your physical age, just, just for a quiet moment. A bit of play music would be good, wouldn't it? I think you get an idea of what I'm saying. All right. How did you go? Do you know what age you would be if you looked at yourself right now? I'll love to say that... Um, you know, I'm actually this age, but I don't feel it. I actually feel younger. All of us say that, that we actually feel younger. And uh, and if you don't, I think you're fibbing. But basically, all of us do it. I just turned 61, and uh, I've been told that you reverse your age as you get older. So really, I'm 16. And a lot of people say that you probably act 16 a lot of the times too. I think that's a pretty good thing. But a lot of the time, our age, the way we feel, and think don't necessarily make up who we really are so if you feel a certain age i just want to finish off in a moment by saying i think that's a good thing just a note that in 24 which is really an interesting what's happening in the world at the moment in 24 is set to be the biggest year for elections in history in the world with more than half the global population heading to the polls when i checked that out i thought my goodness that's amazing there's a total of 65 elections throughout the, the world this year in 24 and when you've got a lot of elections you have different types of leaders and with different types of leaders you have different ways of doing things thinking new rules and regulations will implement and you think well that may be okay but it's not going to affect us well it does because when you have a different leader in a different country it does affect us because it'll affect the globe and uh, in a moment we'll we'll tap, tap on uh, what countries there's uh, 16 um, provinces in africa uh, nine in the americas 15 in asia 21 in europe four in oceania which is australian compasses the oceania 
Let's turn to the scripture now, 1 Timothy, because what's our role knowing that there's going to be a lot of changes throughout the world, you know, throughout the globe in regards to governments and their leaders. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, it reads this, I urge you then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for everyone and underscore that in your Bible. It doesn't say a few, it says everyone. For kings and all in authority. So there gives you reasons why we should pray for our governments. That we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Saviour, who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all men, the testimony given in its proper time. So here's a patch of the scripture that tells us that we should basically pray for everyone, kings and peoples and authorities. And the people in authority, as we looked at, is, is governments. And I really believe right now that we've got to pray for all the governments throughout the world. It, it's extremely important because, as I said before, it affects us. So how does it affect us? Well, let's look at that in a moment. Um, we're commanded by God to pray for all people, including our government and nation, for two reasons. Number one, this practice is good, as the scripture said in Timothy, and pleases God. And number two, God deserves, uh, desires, should I say, societies where people uh, are free to, give, uh, to live peaceful and godly lives and to come to the serving knowledge, saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. There's a problem when you're not with your glasses. You can't read, can you? As we move together in 24, keep your eyes on Jesus. It's very, very important as we move through this year because there will be a lot of changes. And I don't want to jump to the negative. You know, uh, let's just concentrate on the changes and praying to God. Pray for our government. Enjoy life with the age you feel. I started off in saying close your eyes and look back when you were younger and, and you know what would you see if you looked at yourself now? You see yourself in the way you see yourself. But as I mentioned to you that when we look at our selves we don't necessarily feel the age in which we are. And I just want to encourage you, think that way. Think the way the age in which you are. Don't allow the age that you are really Dictate to the way you should feel. If you feel young, great. Because the more you feel the way you think, the healthier you will be. Let's out all these chemicals and endorphins into our body that actually makes us healthy. And so think the way you feel. Don't allow society to tell you you've got to think and feel a certain way. Nonsense. Because if God before you, nothing can come against you, and that's health too. So as we move into 24, I suppose my challenge, uh, my encouragement in that is we've got to pray for the governments in this world right now. It's really needed. And uh, we only have to watch the news, what's happening around the world at the moment. It's pretty sad. You know, a lot of people are getting hurt. But it's birth pains, as the Bible says. So with birth pains, we pray that God just intervenes and has his way in this world, which he will. So uh, be encouraged, don't act your age, act the way you feel and pray for our governments as we move along in 2024. God bless your great people and uh, One Way Gathering is a great uh, way of getting the word out there in this form. Bless you. So
Welcome to our prayer corner this week as we pray for our state and our nation. Father, we thank you that you are a God of justice, grace and mercy. We pray that once again, justice, righteousness, grace and mercy would be the rule of the law in this state and nation. We pray that our leaders would rule with these qualities and with fairness, honour and integrity and truly care about the people and want the best for them, not running with other agendas. We ask, Lord, that if they aren't willing to lead with these qualities, that you would cause them to repent or remove them. Jesus, your name is powerful, holy, and above all things. We thank you that your name is above corruption, your name is above this nation and the nations of the world, and that your desires for this nation would come to pass, the great south land of the Holy Spirit. We pray for fair and honest elections in those countries that will have them this year and for Christians to stand strong, st stand strong for justice and righteousness in those countries. We speak the name of Jesus over our families, our houses, the strongholds in the, our community, our streets, all sickness and disease. We claim the name of Jesus over health and healing, miracles, depression and anxiety. We declare Jesus is the name above all names, that his name is powerful, the name that brings life, hope and health. Thank you, Jesus, that you are a miracle worker, a God who heals, delivers, keeps his promises and loves justice. Stir your church, Lord. Help them rise up and be lights that go into the world, not just people content to keep their light inside the church. Enable us to believe Lord, that this year will be a great year, that we will be able to grow in you and your ways. Amen. Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for our scripture coming up, our memory verse, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Jesus says in Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who are wearied and burdened, and I will give you rest.